Hello YouTube, Big Poppy coming at you, live from the Ice Bowl in Dallas, home of the losing Dallas Cowboys, <laughs> my team, my team, okay y'all, that's enough, I'm, I'm through, okay, I put two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in my ninja foodie here. I'm going to add just a little bit more of that. Yeah, that'll do it. And my ninja foodie, I'm going to make me some beef stew. Over here, to my right, I got my stew. Well, my stew meat. I'm to that. I'm going to shake in some coarse ground black pepper. I'm just going to give it some regular salt, regular table salt. And I put this stuff on everything, y'all. I'm gonna shake in just a little paprika. Just a little, just so I can know I got some in there. Got dog it. Okay, then we're gonna mix it around real good. All right. We're gonna be adding other seasonings to it, so don't worry about it. My Instapot is already hot, so now I'm going to slide you back over to it, just like that. We're going to give it a test and see how hot it is. That's pretty hot. Yeah. We're going to let that kind of caramelize up a little bit. All right. And I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me brown all of this so we're gonna come back to it okay we're gonna do it in batches anyway we'll come back to it okay y'all I'm removing the rest of my meat I've got it all kind of sauteed and sealed up next we're gonna add our onions to this and let them sweat down just a little bit then we're going to add this meat back in and we're going to put some flour in it and we're going to add some broth and we're going to get it going on okay here go the onions, right here. That's half of a medium onion. Cause I'm using onion uh, pieces and there's a piece of meat I probably need to get out. And a little bit of uh, just regular onion powder and garlic powder, okay? So we're going to let that roll for a little bit. We're going to add our celery to it. And I got some pieces, leftover pieces of uh, roasted bell, sweet pepper, not bell pepper, in there. Uh, so we'll just let that just cook just a little bit. Okay. It's coming along real good. I'm trying to separate them onions where I didn't separate them good so they're going to sweat down. Okay. All right. We're going to add a little salt to that. Don't need much because I'm using better than bouillon and it has salt in it. But that salt will help sweat them onions a little bit. All right, all right, all right. It's looking good in the neighborhood. Okay. I have 
some minced garlic that's in the jar. I'm going to use that. As soon as I find me a little spoon or something to go up in that jar. I'm not going to do it right now. Let's check these onions out. Oh yeah, they looking good. Looking good, looking good. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put us about that much garlic. Don't need a whole bunch. Okay. Oh yeah. It's smelling good. Now to that, we're gonna get us about an eighth of a cup of flour. Okay? Just put it in there, mix it around real, real good. Get all that stuff off the bottom. Okay, we'll gonna let that go for a little bit. Now what I have here is four cups of better than bouillon with a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a tablespoon of that American soy sauce, what we call Worcestershire sauce. So add that to it. Get all that in there. Probably gonna need to put two more cups in. But we're gonna get that in there and stir it around a little bit, try to break some of that stuff off the bottom before we get our meat in there. Okay. We got that going. I don't feel any resistance on the bottom, so I guess I can go ahead and start adding my meat back in. Y'all see how well that meat got browned? Yeah, we're going to add it back in. Let's see if I can get this whole pan up. Get it over in there, juices and all, without making a mess. got we're going to put us one large is it in that? yeah that is one large bay leaf Gonna hit it with some thyme. I got some some sprigs of thyme here. We're just gonna kind of break it off the stem, so I won't have to fish them stems out. Yeah, just kind of crumble it up off of there. I love it. What time is it? It's time for time. All right. We'll let that go to the second taste. Okay? We'll add that. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put us 
I got some rosemary. Mmm. Just going to add just a little bit for the first cook. Because we're going to cook it. Then we're going to add our potatoes and carrots and uh, mushrooms. Got dog. Couldn't think of it. Okay, so we're going to steam that up. I'm going to go ahead and taste it a little bit for salt. Tasting pretty good so far. I'm going to go ahead and add at least another two cups of water just like that all right so here's what we're gonna do now we're gonna start this over we're gonna okay y'all we back we're gonna see if we can't get this darn thing to work We're gonna set it for, I say 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And we'll test it out. All right, we'll see what that does. 35 minutes. All right. We'll come back in 35 minutes, look at it, and uh, if it's tender enough, we'll add our potatoes and carrots. Might put some green beans in there, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, fam, we've released the pressure. We're gonna take a look at it. Then we're gonna add our vegetables. It just dropped. It should be safe to take a loop, take apart. Just like that. All right. Let's see what we got in here. I'm gonna give me a fork so I can test out my meat a little bit. But it's gonna cook again anyway. Oh, look at that. First try. Stuck it in there and got that bay leaf. <laughs> Didn't have to fish for it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, that meat is ready. Yeah. Woo. Hot. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead. I got a cup of mushrooms. I got a can of green beans. I have Some potatoes. Uh, it's about four of them, mid-size, and I got some baby carrots. I'm gonna put in there. As soon as I find me something to open it with. Okay, and yeah, we're gonna put this on. We're going to let it cook probably for another 20 minutes. Let me get this in a bowl and kind of wash these carrots off just a little bit. Don't need a lot. Okay, we're gonna put the 
carrots in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that'd be all right. We're gonna cook it a little more. There's meat chewing on that meat, y'all. Let me taste it a little bit for seasoning. I'm gonna need something. I'm gonna need something. Put some Mrs. Dash in there. Mrs. Dash. We'll put some. Garlic. About a teaspoon. We'll give us a little onion powder. About a half a teaspoon. Give that a good stir. I'm gonna do something a little more colorful. I think I'm gonna throw. No, I ain't. I'm gonna leave it alone. Because I got other recipes I'm gonna do real soon with some of the vegetables I'm talking about using. All right. Put that in there, put that over there. Cut this back on. We're gonna give it a time of, let's say 20, 24 minutes. All right. And we'll let those vegetables cook. Okay, y'all, let's take a look at it. I don't know. It's looking pretty good. Can y'all see that? Yeah, you can see it. It's looking pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. going to put it on mm, saute Just a little thick, not much. I don't think we need a whole bunch. Then we're gonna get in here and wash all these dishes I got in here. You know. That much, but a lot of bowls. Yeah, a lot of bowls.
gonna taste it again for seasonings. That's going to do it. I can feel it tightening up already. Let's go ahead and give it a taste for seasoning. By George, I think we got us a winner right there. stir it too much don't want to break our potatoes up yeah I think that's gonna be all right all right y'all I'm over here mixing up some cornbread yeah I think that's gonna be all right I thought about putting some corn in it for color but I think I'm gonna leave it alone Yeah. Just gonna go ahead and turn it off. And that's it. That's my beef stew, and I'm gonna stick with it. Let me get a ladle so you can really see it. But just know this it ain't how you look in the kitchen, it's how you cook in the kitchen. You ain't got to look good to cook good. So get on in that kitchen and cook you up something good to eat. Now you can make yours a little thicker if you want to. I want mine just like that. So I can stick my cornbread in it. Maybe eat it with some crackers too. Maybe have it on top of some rice. Who knows? So all kinds of ways you can roll with that. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to cut it off and just let it sit. Please like and subscribe. Tell someone about my channel. Come on over to Big Poppy's place. Visit with him for a minute. Yeah, you won't be disappointed. All right. Big poppy out. Okay, fam. There it is, my bowl of stew. Big poppy gonna sit down and enjoy him some stew. It's cold outside. And we gonna have some stew. Again. As I always say, it ain't how you look in the kitchen, it's how you cook in the kitchen. You ain't got to look good to cook good. So get on in that kitchen and cook you up something good to eat. Big Poppy out again.